Good morning, I'm Matt Sizemore. The Meridian City Council is getting closer to a final decision on e-scooters. The council will hold another public hearing on the decision tonight at 6. The ordinance is under discussion or under discussion would allow two companies to deploy electric scooters in the city. Marcy's law passes the Idaho Senate and now heads to the House. The constitutional amendment protects the legal rights of crime victims. Marcy's law was added to the Victims Bill of Rights in California in 2008 following the murder of Marcy Nicholas by her ex-boyfriend. Since then, the law has taken effect in 10 other states as well. The state budget committee approves a 6% increase to K-12 through public school funding, uh, bringing the budget for the upcoming school year to $2.2 billion. It will now head to the House and Senate. The budget includes funds for the teacher career ladder, an increase in student enrollment, and Governor Little's literary, or literary pro proficiency program. Well, time now for checking the On Your Side forecast. Rachel Garceau is standing by with what to expect. Hi, Rachel. Hey there, Matt, and happy Tuesday, everyone. The good news for today is we will stay dry for one more day, but that's about all I have as far as good news goes. It will once again be abnormally cold across the region with those highs in the Treasure Valley only hitting the mid to upper 30s, a good 10 degrees below average for this point in February. Clouds on the increase today. The wind does back off just a little bit, but then as early as 9 o'clock this evening, we will throw some snow in into the mix. We have a winter storm coming in from the northwest that has already prompted the National Weather Service to put winter weather advisories in place for all of southwest Idaho stretching up into the mountains and over into eastern Idaho as well because of the incoming storm. Those are in place from this evening through Wednesday evening. We could see anywhere from one to three inches of snow across the valley by tomorrow. That will mean very likely a slow Wednesday morning commute. So plan now for a slow time of it tomorrow morning. The showers could linger into Thursday morning. Then we get a brief break in the action Friday over the weekend. Another storm comes in that could bring more light snow to the valleys on Saturday. In general, temperatures will remain cold for the extended period with highs hovering in just the mid 30s from now through early next week. For your very latest news and weather headlines, remember you can always visit 6onyourside.com.